Okay guys, so to start off with, have your basic sketch of the clothing piece ready. Now here I'm using a marker large for outlining the basic sketch. Now this video is not about uh, body shapes or how to create body shapes and stuff like that. That calls for a whole another video, so I'll be doing that in some another video um, as to on how to create body shapes and positions and postures and stuff like that but this video is not about that so this video is more about how to nicely really nicely paint or a clothing piece and not realistically but but in a cute manner if that is making any sense so the first step is always to um, outline the clothing piece so i am using marker large as you guys just saw and i think uh, this brush is best for uh, creating a good line art so that is why i'm using this brush and i'm sorry that i forgot to record uh the basic sketch part of this tutorial i didn't realize that i was not recording so just forgive me for that so however i'm just uh, uh creating the line art just above the basic sketch also make sure you're doing this in a new layer and not where you have the basic sketch lines because we do want to get rid of those rough sketch lines later so make sure you are creating a new layer for this now a few tips on how to create a really good line art on sketchbook as on procreate we have streamline something called streamline which really helps in creating effortless um, clean lines and uh, yeah but we don't really have such a function uh, right here on sketchbook we do have sorry we do have predictive stroke but that is not really kind that is not really equal to streamline uh in my eyes because it doesn't really exactly work that way i still had some bumps in the lines that i was creating so uh, still just go ahead and increase the predictive stroke the little s kind of shape that we have on the up, uh, top toolbar that we have so i keep it to five i still had some bumps in the in my line so uh, what you basically have to do is the first thing is to be really really confident in the brush strokes and to not go slow so whenever there is a bigger line that you want to cover make sure you are doing it in a one go also a bit faster and that is what I mean by confidence strokes because when you go slow you are gonna create some bumps in the lines and that would not look good so you have to be really confident in the strokes fast do it in a one go and the lines will be perfect so as as you guys can see right here we have the lines ready now you want to start filling up the shapes for that just first delete the sketch line the rough sketch line layer and create a new layer just underneath the outline layer and start filling up these shapes now a quick tip is to um, fill each and every shape or each and every clothing piece in a different layer and i'll tell you guys later why and i'm using this some random brush uh, i was actually checking out different brushes as to what brush works the best to just fill in the color so i just decided to use this one and i I just don't know what the name of the brush is just <laughs> see it on the screen guys so yeah once you have all of the shapes ready filled up as you guys can see i have filled these shapes up in different layers also the details the mini details like belts strips and the pocket and stuff like that i have filled those in a different layer too the reason being we want to add cute shadows and we want to make sure that we are not actually you know ruining our uh, painting or the clothing pieces or the other parts of the whole clothing piece if that is making any sense so as you guys can see i just picked up this pink color and selected a darker version of it and i'm adding these shadows and we don't want to blend these out that is the beauty of it and i really love this style i really like this flat looking style it's really really cute and effortless and you don't really have to put so much effort as compared to when you are creating something uh realistic so yeah just pick up a darker version of the base color and start adding these harsh looking shadows wherever you think the shadows must be and do it for each part of the clothing so also a lot of people still don't know how to 
alpha lock or locked layer to make sure that the color you are filling in is not spilling out the shape. You just have to lock the layer and that's it. That is it you guys, that's so simple. So I've seen a lot of people asking me this question as to my color just spills out the shape, I don't know what to do about it, just lock the layer. Just hit that little lock icon you have on the layer and it acts as alpha lock. So yeah quick tip right there so yeah uh, again uh, when you are adding shadows you have to be really really confident about about those two because for the shadows also you don't want to have any bumps in the line you want to make sure those are nice and clean so again I'm just gonna go ahead and do the stomach part of it and gonna select a darker version of the skin color and gonna add the similar kind of shadow onto that area now i'm just going to continue doing this for each part of the clothing piece also any other shade that we might have over on this painting or on this artboard so uh just revising the summarizing it pick up your base color darken it a little bit and start adding the shadows and you don't have to blend those so yeah i'm just going to speed through the process so that you guys can see it Okay guys, so now what you want to do is, once you have the shadows right in the place, you want to go back to each and every clothing piece and you want to pick up the base color. Now this time you have to lighten up the color to obtain a lighter looking color and we are going to add some highlights similarly as we did the shadows. So we have to make sure we are creating it, um, we are so we have to make sure the lines are nice and clean and there are no bumps just add those where you don't have any shadows and yeah that's what i'm doing here also we don't really have to blend those out so that's something uh to consider when you are doing the style i love the style though uh so yeah you do this uh highlighting part for each part of the painting or each part of the clothing even the midi details like the belt and the pocket the little pocket that we have the collars or anything of that sort that little stripes that we have over the top so do those add details to those as well making sure to pick up the similar base color as the shape contains and that's what you have to do to create this you just go straight up and pick up white color if the base color is not too dark but I wouldn't recommend doing that. I just go ahead and pick up a lighter version of the base color that looks amazing. So again, I'm just gonna speed through the process and you are almost done, you guys. Uh, this is the uh, this was the last step, just to add the little highlights and details uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, you guys are basically done and it was a really quick and simple tutorial, but I don't know, I just loved creating it. So if you do create this out of this tutorial, tag me on Instagram, show me what you created and I'd love to see that. And also I do have a lot of other tutorials and sketchbook that you might want to check out. So go ahead and do that. I will uh, link all of those down in the description. Other than that, I want you guys to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel. I post a lot. I post two videos in a week so yeah give this video a big thumbs up share it with your friends and other than that i will see you guys in the next video